Hello, welcome to the Pigskin Pete YouTube channel. You are about to enter into the mind of a demented college football fan. Right here now, it's all clear now. I finally found the face to face my fear now. It's crazy, I can't call it. I've been too deep, trying to make rip by the end of these two weeks. I'm sick with the beef, but they call me out of the kills. I got a meeting with the label tonight I got a couple verses floating in my head in case they want me to flow I got a feeling it was strange, it's like a reality show Let's see if I can rap to save my life Now all my gear looks right and my beard looks tight I'ma stare it in the face to see what fear looks like I got my demo in my hand, a flutter in my heart We coming out the dark now, the fun about to start now Good afternoon everybody, Pigskin Pete here Happy Wednesday to everybody Man, I got home today, and uh, my plan was to go up into the Pigskin Pete YouTube Studios, aka the Man Cave, and make this video, but uh, I don't know where you guys are in the country, but it's like 75 degrees today outside. I was like, it would be a shame and an embarrassment to not sit outside and make this video. This is unbelievable. It's been like 150 degrees for the past month and a half. And it is just, it's, it's too good out here not to, uh, not to sit out here. So, so I made that video yesterday about, uh, the playoff expansion possibilities and, and my views on that and my views on, uh, the fact that, uh, divisions in college football are completely meaningless. I got a good response out of that. I knew I would. That's something that always, uh, gets people gets gets the gears turning with people because uh, everybody has their own opinions on that so i appreciate all the comments and everything i tried to respond to as many of them as i could but in that video when i was going through clemson's schedule i mentioned on purpose that i did not consider georgia tech to be a rival of clemson's now i the reason i did that is because this is an this has been going back a long time uh i know when i say that that it gets people pissed off, both Georgia Tech fans and even some Clemson fans. And I got some comments about that. What, you know, why do you not consider Georgia Tech to be a rival of Clemson's? And I just want to give you my, my thoughts on this. Uh, I realize they're a rival, okay? Listen, I realize they've been playing for a long time. I realize that in the 70s, that's where the $2 bill thing with Clemson came from. I, know, I understand all that. Uh, my older brother, who's four years older than me, uh, went to Clemson as an engineering student and uh, Georgia Tech of course their pride and joy is being an engineering school and so to my brother that was a big rivalry between engineering people right uh, between nerds uh, no offense to, to my brother but listen engineering is a little bit of a nerdy thing right I mean we can all agree to that but anyway the reason I don't consider Georgia Tech to be a rival of Clemson's has nothing to do with engineering, has nothing to do with how long they've been playing each other, has nothing to do with the $2 bill. My reasoning comes down to football itself. And what I mean by that is, I don't really consider Georgia Tech to be a football school. That's not a shot at Georgia Tech, it just is what it is. For instance, we had a rivalry for a long, long time in the past with the University of Georgia. That was a rivalry. Why? In my mind, because the University of Georgia is a football school. Florida State in the ACC. Florida State is a football school. Clemson and Florida State have had a lot of big time games that really meant something as far as their conference standings and their overall uh, uh, year went that whatever year it would be for the uh, for the ACC South Carolina obviously in-state rival w w even when they were in the ACC and when, and when they left and went to the SEC listen as unsuccessful as the Gamecocks have been and we all know that probably one of the least successful uh, major football programs in America South Carolina I would still consider to be a football school I don't feel the same way about Georgia Tech so look, I know right from the beginning, when I say that I don't consider Georgia Tech and Clemson to be rivals, that I am in the minority here. 
I'm in the minority as far as Clemson fans feel the way about this game. I'm in the minority as far as the way Georgia Tech fans feel about this game. Fine. I'm willing to accept that uh, I'm one of the few people that does not consider this to be a rivalry. And listen, uh, wh wh what I say doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. They're going to continue to play every year. They're going to uh, continue to be considered rivals. I'm okay with that. Now, when I was on my way home today, I was listening to uh, Mark Rogers TV, uh, who had uh, Ryan Cantor, I think is his name, is a, a young man that covers uh, Clemson football for uh, shaking up the Southland. And, and they were talking about this Georgia Tech Clemson thing. And, and Ryan mentioned on there, I, I think he said he lives in Atlanta. And uh, his interaction with Georgia Tech fans is, is that uh, he doesn't really have a problem with Georgia Tech fans because they don't really care about this quote unquote rivalry. And that's my point. That's my point. If, if it's that big of a rivalry, if, if I'm going to consider something to be a rivalry, then the fan base really needs to care about it. And he said it out of his own mouth, he lives in Atlanta, that they don't really care about it. Look, and the fact of the matter is, this is the way that most Georgia Tech fans are about football. Most of them, I'm not saying all of them, because I do have a lot of them, uh, or not a lot, but a few of them that come across my channel and uh, definitely show you know, passion about uh, their football team. But for the, the vast majority of Georgia Tech students, they don't care about football season until football season starts. And then as soon as football season ends, they stop caring. That is not a football school. But uh, nothing makes me happier. There, well, I won't say nothing. There's actually a lot of things that make me happier. But there are a few things that make me happier than pissing off Georgia Tech fans. If I have to piss off a couple of Clemson fans in the process, I'm willing to take the shrapnel. It is what it is. Thanks for watching, though. Have a great day. Pick Tim Pete. Checking out.